Hey guys, it's Miss Carrier. I'm going to continue my lessons today here with the PowerPoint Imagine Academy. This is module two, file one, and we are going to just work a little bit with bullets and understand a little bit about how they work and font themes as well. All right, so it says we need a data file called Cornerstone SNB as well as our starter file. So let's go over. You can access those by clicking on your virtual lessons, uh, going into the OneDrive folder, and then from there, you'll click Resources, Module 2, Cornerstone. So let's first go ahead and grab this SNB file. We're going to click Download. That's the easiest way to get those files. And then we're going to organize that into the Office PowerPoint Module 2 folder. We did that in Video 1. So make sure you have done that. And then we're going to go ahead and download the second one, but this time we're going to change that starter name and we're going to replace it with our name. So we've downloaded that file now and we're going to go ahead and open that file. And so therefore we've got what we need to get started. So we're going to use this really cool feature called reuse slides. This was something that uh, it's actually newer. I did not have this available when I was learning PowerPoint in high school or college. Uh, but you can find the file that you need here by searching, or you can come down and find it in the recommended files. Um, we are going to choose content from this SNB, and we're going to come click on the two uh, slides we need, blackberries and strawberries. And then you can just simply close that pane. And we're going to alphabetize these slides. So the easiest way is just to drag and drop them in place. So we've got apples, blackberries. Uh, then we're going to need to have peaches, pears, and plums, and we can pull the strawberries file, the slide down to the bottom. There we go. So we've completed that task. And now it tells us in the instructions that we are going to work with bullets a little bit here. We're going to change the numbered list on apples to filled square bullets. And we're also going to in increase the indent here a little bit. So uh, we're going to go back to the apple slide, and we're going to highlight this numbered list. We're going to come up here to our home tab and we're going to change this to filled square bullets. All right, so this one might make you pull your hair out a little bit. Uh, I struggled with it when I did it earlier, but what it wants us to do is highlight these, these text items and it wants us to pull the indentation over, but sometimes the bullet goes with that. So if you just grab this little marker, the little box marker and pull back, okay, um, then it should allow you to put some separation in the text. So that's what it's looking for. A little bit of indentation between the wording and bullet. If you can't get that to work perfectly, don't stress it. We'll just move on to the next step. It now tells us that we are going to use a dark gray text to font, and then we're going to format paint uh, onto the other bullets. So let's go back to our PowerPoint. Uh, this is the selection of items it wants you to use, and we're going to go up and find the correct font color, which is in the dark gray text two. So dark gray column, choose the first one, text two. That'll apply the correct font there. And then you get to use my favorite tool of all. Those of you in my class know that that is uh, my favorite tool. I love it. It's called Format Painter. So we are going to come up and double click this format painter, make sure it's turned on, come to your remaining slides and simply click to uh, apply that. Let's try that one more time. Double click format painter, come down to blackberries, simply drag and drop. And it should um, maybe try highlighting the whole list before you turn format painter on, then come down and it should apply. A little tricky again to grab it double click it okay and then you're going to come and select those items there we go it's working now and you can just click anywhere inside that list and it will apply to all those bullets so that's all you need to do on this file you have worked with bullets and a little bit with theme colors a little bit with indentation and that should be everything so once you finish with that file uh, simply save it and we will move on to file two good job